Oxford Dictionary defines loneliness as sadness because one has no friend or company. But we all know that it is possible for us to be with friends or with family or with company and still feel lonely. Most of the time when we have company and we are feeling lonely is because we feel that we are not being understood by the people that we are surrounded with. The other definition of loneliness that I like is that loneliness is when you are alone and you are sad about it because it is possible for you to be alone and be happy and productive and not feel lonely. But being lonely means that you are alone and you are sad about it. It's good to spend time with yourself alone. That's my plan for today. Lonely. I am not lonely. I have everybody. Let me quickly introduce myself. I am Moyo Lua and I post on YouTube once every week. If you are new to my channel, welcome and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below. If you find this video useful, please click on the like button and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. So the experience of loneliness is actually a personal thing and people feel loneliness in different ways. There are different things also that can lead to loneliness like breakup, <laughs> retiring from a job, losing social contact, changing jobs can lead to loneliness, starting in a new university can lead to loneliness, moving to a new area or country where you don't have family, friends or community that you are familiar with can make you start getting lonely. Can really be a state of mind and if we don't do something about it we can start to get to decline because to actually be alone is not a crime but being lonely and not doing anything about it can lead to a lot of mental illness like depression anxiety low self-esteem sleep problem and stress just to mention a few so when you're feeling lonely it's not advisable for you to stay drawn in it is advisable for you to come out of it. Sometimes, if we can't really be happy on our own, we find it difficult to be happy when we are in company of other people. And some people tend to use people to fix their unhappiness by being happy when they are with friends and company and immediately these people leave them then they, they decline back to the state of loneliness. There are different ways that we can come out of loneliness and I'll be sharing some of it. I will start by saying that don't compare yourself to other people. Comparison is not good. It kills. Because some people they are very extroverted people and they enjoy like spending time with people they are everywhere and if you are an introvert and you're seeing this kind of people spending a lot of energy and time with people and you are you are beating yourself up that you can't meet up to that like you don't have the strength to do that then it can make you to start thinking of yourself as not good enough to spend time with people i would like to advise you not to compare yourself know who you are know the kind of personality that you are and don't beat yourself don't try to change yourself to be another person so that's my number one tip As you can already see in this video that I went for a walk and I went into a park 
I sat down in the middle of the park. I was reading a book. I was enjoying the sunlight and I walked around. It was very beautiful. So the number two tip I would like to share is spend time with nature. Spend time with nature is very advisable because it allows you to just enjoy the beauty and the glory of God all around you. Go to the lake, go for a walk. It helps to take off the tension of that loneliness. Being alone, I mean, being lonely and just drowning in it and staying back at home can make you feel a lot of weight and start thinking of things that you shouldn't and leading you to depression. So I would advise you that when you feel lonely, and it's okay to feel lonely sometimes. Everybody feels lonely one time or the other. So it's okay to feel lonely. But when you feel lonely, what do you do about it? You can go for a walk. You can just go to the park. You can enjoy the sunlight. The other tip I would like to share is that be intentional about making friends. Actually, left to me, I find it very difficult to make friends most of the time. And if I don't put in my efforts, I'll end up not having friends. So as introverted people, sometimes we can get so and too introverted and not even bother to make efforts in being friendly. So don't beat like don't force yourself to make friends. Don't force yourself on other people. Don't force yourself to be somebody's friend, but be intentional. When you meet people, smile at them, greet them. Just be intentional to have conversation with people. And in that way, God can bless you with wonderful friendship and people that you can enjoy their company. talk about comparison and comparison can also come in a way of um, social media when you go online and you see lots of people having fun looking so beautiful with a lot of pictures and you can get to start worrying about maybe you are not doing well in your in your career or in whatever way that you are not doing so well and this can make you to start getting like thinking about a lot of things and withdrawing from people and eventually feeling lonely so it's good to take a break from social media if you see that that is where your sadness is actually coming from take a break exercise is a very good way from getting away from the feeling of loneliness when you exercise it releases some hormones in your body like endorphins i think <laughs> that makes you feel very happy so i i really really love exercising so i would love if you can incorporate exercise into your daily activities it will help you from the feeling of loneliness to give you lots of energy to get through the day another tip i would like to share is taking yourself out on a date it's good to go out all by yourself to give yourself some special treats buy some expensive food buy if you can afford it don't break the bank please just buy something that you can afford that it's way not like the usual thing that you will get for yourself just compensate yourself if you've been working so hard give yourself something that you can use to appreciate yourself and celebrate yourself enjoy yourself by going out and having fun going to a cinema going to an, an amusement park just do what you can do for it. if you have a special guest in your home what would you do to make that person feel special do that for yourself and celebrate yourself this can also help to get away from the sadness of being lonely the last thing i would like to say is that if you're feeling lonely is getting into depression and other stops already and you think you need a therapy i would advise you to go for it
thank you everyone for watching this video to this very point if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed please and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and click on the notification bell so that you can get notified when i upload new content thank you so much see you bye bye